that's not. Yes, Your Honor. Well, I disagree with your basic assessment of the facts. No, I understand. Thank you for your time. That was the Honorable Naomi Kushner. And what do we think about Judge Kushner around these parts? Left-wing hack. Yes, the good judge won't give me a no-knock warrant for known associates of Nelts. And that's just fine. War games, war rules. Mm. Captain Dawes, Mendoza. I... The three of us are a tribal council. And I'm very aware that we're having problems with one of the members of our tribe. He didn't take the money. You were testing me. <laughs> well, we had to know if we could trust you. you know, from the very beginning, your partner assured me that we could. Now, you said that Nels was talking about a deal with Stoddard. Yeah, he sure did. Well, I need you to go back to Nels's office and get me something that I can take to Internal Affairs. I realize that a hurricane's incoming, detectives. But this can't wait. Yes, sir. Jesus! CSI's already been through here. What's the point? Well, they weren't looking for evidence against Stoddard. Look, we find anything, we go directly to Dawes. This goes to internal affairs. Dawes can't control what happens. You do trust Dawes, right? Look, Stoddard going down doesn't look good for anyone. A Stoddard's dirty. You know it, I know it. I'll keep watch out here. You go inside, find the evidence we need to take him down. Gladly. Hey, I'm gonna look around the building, maybe poke through the trash. I'm gonna pause it there, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews, and this is Battlefield Hardline, Episode 4, Case Closed. Last time we left off, there was a bunch of killing and a bunch of arrest, and there was this Nets guy who was running away, and we found him, and then he was saying something about Stoddard basically being a dirty cop, and then Stoddard shot him in the head, and there was these other things, and it just, it just didn't stop. It just never stopped. Um, as you can tell, I'm still super bitchy on the difficulty. Uh, there's ten pieces of evidence. We've gotten, that's just the beginning cutscene. So we've gotten a little bit through the episode. We're uh, level eleven. Good idea. And we're just stay just... in touch. Can we make our way through. You think Stoddard has friends inside the department? Oh, shit. Probably. Dirty cops look out for each other. Before she continues talking. Yeah, that's one of ten. Okay. Let's hope they didn't pull any evidence. Wouldn't surprise me. If Stoddard was stupid, he'd be in jail. Down here, maybe? Where the fuck is this? Oh my god, what the fuck am I walking on? It must be below me. It's either directly above or directly below me because it's freaking the fuck out right now. Let's, let's head upstairs. Bodies that I probably shot. If there's, I don't think you'll notice it, um, but if, 
I start making comments about like the screen going out on me. It seems like my HDMI port is not exactly solid in its spot right now. It's something around here. And it seems to be, uh, my screen seems to be going black every couple seconds. Normally not every, not every couple seconds, but what the fuck is this? What am I looking for? It's on the other side of this? Oh! The fuck? The fuck is... The fuck is this? That's creepy. Maybe not in here, per se. Maybe right around the back. Oh. Somebody moved us recently. Separate thing. I actually just kind of need to keep this out the whole time, don't I? I still think I need to be upstairs. Figure out this code. Can you? Oh, okay. Never mind. Bingo. Remy Nails Insurance Policy, take one. Friday night, August 14th. I'm going to meet with Stock. Sounds like the next step is coming up with partnership terms that work for both of us. I think if you. Stoddard. Got you. Kai, I found something. I'm headed downstairs. Good. I'm down here now in the shipping container. There's no way in hell we're making it out of here. And what exactly is like this general direction? I didn't even get all the clues here. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Maybe it's... I don't know where it is. I'm not sure if I necessarily need to find it either. These are completely below me. I'm way the hell over here. Oh, I guess it could be, actually. Huh. Gym bag owa oh, uh, money. Okay, we got all of them. Get out of this. Fuck out of here. She's super gonna turn on me. I already know that. How do I get out of here? Wait, what? Oh. What'd you find? Nelson Stoddard, on tape. Now when we go to IA, it's not our word against his. Remy was storing his cash somewhere. I bet Stoddard's looking for it too. Look in there. Ah, she's gonna fucking knock us up the, the head. Is this? Some bullshit I don't pretend to understand. 
But I looked online, and the only place that sells that crap is a store called Domo Robato in Palo Alto. I love it, Domo. Domo Arigato, Mr. Domo. That's why I'm at the warehouse. Domo. Domo. It's a drive-by. My advice? Don't go in through the front door. Your starter comes out without me. Assume the worst. I always do. Nick, I just got word from CP about a suspicious van. I'm going to follow it, okay? Yeah, all right. Just stay in contact. Lousy time for a hurricane, huh? Hmm. Get in through there. Watch for anything weird. When you find Stoddard, just let him talk. Hopefully he'll say something incriminating. Guys, I don't care about your weed, right? It's been two years, it's gonna be legal anyway. What I wanna know is, which one of you moved Neltz's cash? He promised us that money, asshole. Yeah, okay. As of yesterday, I'm your new boss. But do you understand what that means? What would you say if you were working a case and some asshole shows up and tries to take the credit? I would say, let's talk about it. Huh? So, let's go do that. Shall we? 